Good morning, you too. Well, we up here in North Wilkesboro. Get getting loaded. Raining. <laughs> and this shit's gotta be fully tarp. Oh man, I'm gonna get wet as a damn duck. That's yeah, alright. That's what we do. Wife texted me this morning and said that uh <clears throat> Zoe had a rough night last night. Literally coughed all night long. Oh man, I hate to hear shit like that. I mean, I know she's miserable. I know she's got to be miserable, but she's eating. She's drinking. She's living her normal life as usual, you know, just to this fucking cancer. I don't know what to do, man. We don't know. We don't know what to do. I mean, wife mixes up this potion on a daily basis to give to her. <clears throat> you got to give it to her with uh, syringes, you know, shoot it down her, shoot it down her throat. I mean, and it's it's all natural crap that. Is it's like specifically designed to fight cancer. So I mean, we're doing everything we can for her to help. You know, we're fighting it for her. But man, that breaks my heart. That makes me sad when I hear things like, like I heard this morning, where she literally coughed all night long. And that ain't an every night thing. I mean, it. You know, it may be twice a week where she does that. I guess. I guess, God forbid, if it becomes to be an every night thing, then we may have to, uh, we may have to help her out with, with, uh, with something major, and, you know. Well, I guess I'm going to have to, uh, I guess I'm going to have to throw my business license away. Uh, According to successful trucking, a guy with one truck, and uh, you are not a business, according to successful trucking. Well, damn, I feel like I've been getting ripped off by the state because shit for four years. I've been paying money to them every year to renew my business license. And according to his video last night that he put up, or yesterday, whenever, that he is talking factual stuff. It's not debatable. You're talking facts, huh? Successful trucking? Not debatable, right? And you made that comment at the beginning of your video how um, a one truck, one truck guy, you know, a one truck deal, you're nothing but a uh, self-employed. You're not a business. And it's not debatable. But yet about middle ways of your video, you make the comment about how if you're out of work, whether you're a one truck company or a 50 truck company, you could go out of business. Make my mind up, dude. Make my mind up. So, according to the middle of your video, if you're out of work for, for too long and you're a one truck company or a 50 truck company, you can go out of business. But yet, at the beginning of your video, and at the very end of your video, you stressed, you adamantly stressed that a one truck, a, a, a guy with a one truck deal, that you're not a business. You're just a self-employed driver. 
But yet, according to Google and the state I live in and my accountant, I am a sole proprietor or a single member LLC. But you also made the comment that in your opinion, a business is, uh, you know, more than one employee. Well, fuck your opinion, dude. Your opinion ain't shit. That ain't facts. That's your opinion. You know? I don't know where you people get off on coming out here with these YouTube channels, these trucking YouTube channels, trying to help out folks. And that's great, man, to help out folks. But... You can't come with your opinions on shit, man. If if you're if you're coming to help people out, you need to bring facts to the table, dude. You know, you're you're about a flip flopper fucking nitwit if I have ever seen one, man. I swear to Christ. You're going on and on about hey, owner operators. You gotta buy health insurance and. If your wife don't work, you gotta cover all the house bills and everything. I do that, dude. Is it easy? No, no, it's not easy. It is not easy. Matter of fact, uh, a lot of the times it's, it's really hard. It's really hard. I try to keep this truck going. I try to keep my little business in the black. I try to keep my home going. Uh, hell, I'm paying what is uh, two ninety a week? I'm paying just shy of twelve hundred a month, just on health insurance, and basically for the wife, you know, with some of her prescriptions that that she needs. Hell, it would cost us more than that if we had to pay full price for her scripts. You don't know shit, man. You you think you know every damn thing. You need to come with facts if you're going to try to help people out, dude. And who in the fuck... Who in the fuck is spending $40,000 a year to keep an old truck going? This truck I'm in, it's 10 years old. Hell, you can get a rebuild. You can get a, a, an end frame done for what? I think $20,000, $25,000. You get a brand new damn crate engine put in here for 40. Who in the hell is spending $40,000 a year on their trucks? You don't know shit from Shinola, man. You don't know shit. You know, I, I'm all for. I'm all for guys, man. Trying to trying to help other drivers out I, I mean that's great that is great but I, I think you should come with facts man you know you, you coming with a bunch of bullshit that ain't it's just not true man it's just not true what you're talking about there was something else I wanted to say about you too but I forgot now. If I remember it, I'll make another damn video. I hope you watch this, you damn nitwit. And that goes for the rest of you drivers that watch my channel too. If you've got one truck and uh, and you consider yourself a, a, a small business company or a business, you know, a, a single uh, single owner LLC, you're not a business according to this dumb fuck. You're nothing but a self-employed driver. So I guess quit sending your state. Uh, Quit sending your state the uh, yearly fee to renew your business license. Because according to uh, hypocritical trucking, I mean, 
successful trucking, you're not a business. All right, I got to get out of here and strap this shit and tarp it in the rain. We'll catch you later. I hope everybody's being careful today. We back quiet.